stuff. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. How you doing, buddy? Oh, dude, that's so much intro. That's a lot of intro. Faces or just the graphic for that? I I don't know if our faces show during the graphic. Did the graphic show? That was like morning news, but only good news. That's what that's that's what that reminded me of. Yeah, that felt like the '80s. I mean, obviously, all this stuff is kind of designed that way, but it you know, (laughs) yeah, the the news then was was sweet. Those were good days. Good morning, Palm Beach. (laughs) <laughs> turtle races today who wins you the viewer <laughs> let's go get live to donnie devon at the <laughs> turtle race uh someplace where everybody gathers at a famous dave's on a friday night yeah they, it's they who cares famous day you ever been to a famous dave's yeah not good no they're not there amazing goes, there goes our famous dave's money shit we're trying to Kyle, you ruined ruined sponsorship abilities here. Famous Dave pull out. That's what he's famous for, pulling out. That's nobody, right. No, no kids at all. Yeah, nobody so, takes the business. What's your backdrop there, Kyle? Oh, it's today I'm in a tropical paradise. This is my house down there. That's me. Okay. Uh, it's, it's cold in the garage, so I didn't mean to look like a like a like a Honolulu hobo, but it's Wait, are you outside. Are you outside right now? I'm in my garage. Oh, in your garage. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm on the beach. No, <laughs> I I thought I thought you were on this. You're outside your garage with the backdop behind you in a chair, just being a dickhead to my neighbors. I, you know, I keep would, down, I'm doing a thing. You just have I a should. laptop on a chair right there. Yeah. Shh. I'm creating art. I'm thriving in this. Um, tell me that, okay, Matt, you're a food guy. Sure. You're a food guy. Is there anything you don't eat? Is there anything off your, off the docket for you? Oh, well, Kara. As, as, as we see our donations are going to Feeding America. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's talk. What should we feed them? Let's talk about stuff we put in our fat mouths. Um, I, I, when I was, when I was a, a, a toddler, I had a horrible babysitter that left me on the floor of the kitchen with my own bag of frosted animal crackers. <clears throat> and my parents came home and the bag was torn open and I was covered in them. Evidently, I don't remember it, but I was like, Ugh, and I still can't eat them. There was one with, the, <laughs> going, with the, the sprinkles, still can't yeah. eat them. I thought it was going way worse. Like a toddler left alone on a kitchen floor. Usually somebody's got a belly full of bleach. You know? <laughs> Baby's first emergency room visit. Like animal, oh, the thing you're supposed to eat? Animal crackers? You're fucking fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm leading up to. So I can't drink bleach anymore. I can't. Damn. Like, I, I thought the kids are getting into it. I, did, my, I used to eat ants. My mom said I would put ants on my tongue, and they would tickle, and I would laugh. And then when they stopped tickling me, I would just swallow them. <laughs> and I'm like, why didn't you stop me? She's like, well, they're ants. <laughs> I wasn't, I mean, like, let, not for nothing, great parents, but oof. I don't have kids. I don't, I can't say what's right or wrong, but if I had a child and it was just consuming live insects, I might, uh, yeah, step I'd in on that. That's when you step in. But now I, eat, now I eat everything. So that's what happens. Uh, that's what I was going to say. Last night I made, all right, you like, hey, do you like a patty melt? Yes. Okay. Sure. Who doesn't like a patty melt? Jerks. Right. Jerks don't like patty melts. They're delicious and comforting. Yeah. Do you like a grilled cheese? Sure. Everybody loves a grilled cheese. All right. Well, I consumed a lot of things last night that led me to the judgment. Okay. Our friend Andrew Overdahl posted a picture a few weeks ago where he found some spam and he mandolin sliced the spam and then put it in an air fryer and put it on an egg sandwich. And I thought I could one up that idea by grating a hot dog. Oh, Kyle. (laughs) What? (laughs) In my head, I was like, what if it's just like, I was gonna slice, I was gonna like long slice a hot, a veggie dog, because I don't eat the meats. I was going to long slice a hot uh, veggie dog 
same style mandolin slice i don't have a mandolin slice right a cheese grater so i Not grated the, the dog with some onions and mushrooms sauteed that okay into a cheese sandwich i'm still very thirsty yeah that that sounds like a, a sodium bomb first off but i mean i think how how much of your knuckles did you mix in once the I was the, pretty the hot dog? So I was being I was being very once, careful. Once it just exploded against the teeth of the grater and your knuckles right down the side. I was very high and very careful. It was a lot of just I little, know. It was really like a prisoner whittling a duck, you know, just taking your right. time. Just just an old oh, man of patience is what I was. Why just, is that gross? Why is like if 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 I would have just cut a hot dog long way, and right? Put it on grilled cheese. That's not a bad idea. On it, can I tell you my first thought when you said that? Please. The only way to to get a, a good grate out of that hot dog or not dog would be to freeze it. You got to freeze it first, and then it'll grate. Okay. My first thought was not, "Wow, that's ridiculous." I mean, it's a little ridiculous, but no, it's still just you're just breaking it up into smaller bits. That my thought was that, and also good idea about the freezing it. I forget that you could freeze things to get them to act and to behave in a way, uh, you know, much like how the National Geographic photographers fake. Like anytime you see like a little frog that's waving, it's because they froze it and they can move it and then take the picture of it. Are you serious? Yeah, there's like all this kind of fraud nature photography. And they're just they're just freezing reptiles. And then like you see like the little three fingered frog that's like, hey guys, like the little like uh, gecko, come to be sure to visit Tahiti. I'm here. Yeah. And it's just, it's like, I'm so cold. <laughs> like <laughs> you forced hibernation on my body for this so, photogram. Somehow, so, somehow got a frog to do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hermit. <laughs> Who brought out the bro frog? Oh God. I'm gonna split Miss Piggy in two. <laughs> Put my thumbs in her and peel her open like an orange. Oh, Kyle. <laughs> hey, did we lose any of our 22 viewers? How? How would they, why would they leave with entertainment like this? Anyway, so, but the idea, you know, okay, here's, hey, put the Chicago graphic up. Jake, okay. can we go to the Chicago graphic? Throw it up, cut. Throw it up, Jake. Big miss. All right. Here's a thing that I miss. Number one is being a non, uh, not eating meat anymore. But also when I moved out here, good euros. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're wiping their ass with them out here. Yeah, they're no good unless you go to like a real deal Greek place. But there's just good euros everywhere in Chicago. Just. I think. How heavy? How heavy is one of those spindles of meat? Yeah. I'm probably, asking. Probably a good 80 pounds. It's like the size of a small man. It is like a barrel chested man. Yes. The <laughs> torso. It's just that. Like that. It's, it's, it's the size of a hefty man born without legs. It's the weight and size of that. Of the what, most... weird, what weird dream nightmare hybrid do you have of just a stout little man whose torso is Euros? but he's a ballerina and he's twirling and you're just shaving your dinner off of his, uh, off of his torso. That's, that's, <laughs> that is it. And you're like, mm -hmm. that's like the, the twilight zone ending to a, a Euros owner who makes people out of Euros and he goes to hell and that's his eternity. It's just spinning he's on the singing, spin. He's singing wind beneath my wings, but it's, did you ever know you were my Euro? I love and it. I love the punch up. And he's his torso's meat. We'll be right back. <laughs> Was it well, too Chicago, much? For the beginning Chicago, of the show? Worship, Chicago worship of meat is 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 just is fucking insane. Like I always loved a good burrito, but you go get a burrito in Chicago, it's like five steaks in five like bad steaks. Yes, chopped. Yeah, with, with cheese and beans, and you only drink it when you're hammered, or excuse me, eat it when you're hammered. That's it. Like no one gets a nice burrito during the day. It's just like five a.m. <sighs> no, they were this big, and it was all questionable meat that they knew how to cook right. 
Yeah. But the Euro, but my go to go back to the Euros when you, they were shaved, and then you put them on the grill to get the edges crispy. That's what I had in my head with the hot dogs. Oh yeah, okay. You want that good, the good, the good crispness after, after they shave? Yeah, after they shave a the Euro, right? They throw it on the grill real quick. Some places crisp up the edges. That weird Greek hot dog meat. I feel like you could get some sort of weird not dog sponsor to make you a giant not dog Euro not dog that you'd slice in your home and just, just, a, just live off <laughs> it for like a month or a crazy weekend. I, like, I, I love like how committed I, I was I actually wrote this down. How committed could I be to being a vegetarian that still misses the lifestyle of meat like i just i have to play big buck hunter in my own home <laughs> and then still <laughs> i just have like a hoodie filled with impossible burger meat that i have to like cut open in the garage and field dress anyway <laughs> like like how, how how much how much can i like give someone the experience of yeah. Um, yeah, of a hunting meat eating individual without the cruelty part that you've doused in in like cherry Kool Aid, so when you cut it, it comes out just the offal and the, all the all the all the fake blood. <laughs> A goblet of it after like the kill, the first kill. This sure. is the initiation. <laughs> so sweet. Well, I didn't realize that's Impossible Burgers is that the Titanic that you're sipping from? Yeah, it's a big old drink. Yeah, uh, for folks at home, we. we a tech rehearsal before this and we checked in with our our uh, our lovely cute boy guest josh gondelman who's coming on later and i just said to josh you know we we tend to drink a cocktail or two during the show and he held up a drink just like this he already he was ready he was locked and loaded and kyle had a beer but then kyle pulled that shit out that that 32 he's my head. and he's and as he put it this thing's gonna titanic my whole evening so, Kyle, you, you're, you're a man, you're a poet. You're a poet. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, here's me. Here's the iceberg. And we're, we're slowly making our way towards it. There you go. Hey, guys, uh, for the, those of you uh, tuning in, you can uh, check chat for instructions on how to be our mystery date for later. Oh, yeah, we're we got call mystery you. date. Me, Kyle, and Sweet Gondles going to call you. So we want to see the, house. the chat room. Yeah. Show us your home. Yeah. We'll we want to come in. You. We'll roast your dump. Yeah. We'll show. We'll take so we'll it. And take it look at your whole dump. Roast I'll roast your dump, bro. All these show oh. ideas. Hey girl, how are you, man? You know, man, I'm hanging in. It's uh it's 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 one day at a time, but what, it's kind of like what else are you gonna do? It's pretty much it's pretty much Buddhist. I try to get some shit done during the day, but a lot of it's just kind of like not driving myself crazy. How about you? Yeah. I took the insulation out of my Crocs. These were insulated Crocs, but I they're getting pretty uh, uh, as much as you could expect. What a tie dyed insulated Croc would smell like. It was worse. So I yeah. took the inside out. Did I ever tell you the story of these? No, please. Okay, I'll tell you a story. Uh, I was going to a wedding with the missus, and it was uh, ooh, someone's just sitting in their car listening to music on my street. All right. Okay. We're going. To, it said, I, I thought you heard a ghost. Strong, like somebody's just out there being alone. Or to drive. I don't. Know. Oh, so can I, can I tell you real quick? A couple neighbors have had short meltdowns audibly. Oh, really? Ooh, our, this our, is fun. This our is neighbor, fun. our neighbor Beth. Um, uh, not you, she's so sweet. She, no, she's the sweetest. And and but like, she's always amazing. And and but we just Carol Carol was outside on the back deck, working on the laptop, and Beth just loses it on just screaming so loud that Kara's texting me. So I was on the yeah. other side of the house and she's like, holy shit, Beth is it. She just screamed all caps, do not fucking interrupt me. Like top of the lover lungs on the phone with somebody. Mm -hmm. It's just like, 
it's one of those people that it, it'd be like if Jimmy, you heard like Jimmy Stewart or Tom Hanks, just like, fuck you motherfucker. Don't you ever fuck like you. She's the nicest person. She's like the, the designated ultimate sweetheart of the block. Oh, so whoever man. was on the phone with her, like deserved it, but it was like, whoa, mm -hmm. thing that reminded me of, 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 of the meltdowns. Another neighbor, amazing dude has been stocked up for, for, for weeks. He's always, when you see him, he's like, you need anything? Toilet paper, coffee. I got it. Hit me up. He's got two kids, the most chill dude ever. Someone's blaring rage against the machine outside in a car. Bla I mean, like, like so loud. <laughs> Why? So loud Where that I, I, think you. I think it's you fucking with me. I think you've driven over and you're outside blaring and I'm going to see you in your Jeep <laughs> smiling at me. Like, remember this one? <laughs> Fuck you. I won't do what you tell me. So loud. So loud. And I look out and it's my neighbor just by himself. Like, <laughs> no one in the car. Oh, shit. <laughs> and he turned, yeah. he turned it off and he got out of the car. And I'm in, in my bedroom and I, I know he sees me through the window and I'm like, Hey, and he just looks at me and just goes in the house. Like not just nothing. Like he uh, just, he had, he had to flip out away from his family. God bless him. What? Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck what you. What deleted scene from American Beauty is that? Exactly. <laughs> Man, check on your neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> what what happened? You got some crazy ones. What happened with yours? They've been no, everybody's been all right around here. Like, what have I? I it's been our like because I'm in I'm in like a four unit building. Yeah, I fucked up early. I, I fucked up early on living here because I'm like I want to know my neighbors. I'm like, hey, I'm Kyle. Here's my phone number. If you need something, let me know. Like, I feel that way. If like you're in a small building with like you share walls with people. Like, hey, I got a package outside. Come get it. People steal yeah. shit all the time. I know everyone's number on my block. It's yeah. weird. But we got like thin walls. Like thin. And I remember like a while ago, I texted one neighbor because I was like, I heard another neighbor crying. Got some people oh. that do, like live by themselves. Like, all right, I'm a very nosy person, but also it's like, hey, mental health check. And I texted one neighbor, like, hey, you hear so and so crying? They're like, no, nah, that's me. I was like, oh. Oh shit! <laughs> like, uh, sorry, I'm sorry to laugh I'm at that. I'm, I'm just laughing I'm at the circumstance. I'm not laughing at, at that person. Oh no, no, but it was. I felt bad too because I I told Rachel I'm like I fucked up. She's like, "What'd you That's do?" Just, and I'm like, <laughs> and I did that. <laughs> yeah, and Rachel, Rachel just said she's like, "Man, can't a bitch even cry in peace around here?" <laughs> like, you're right. You're right. I was. Oh. Thinking of looking out for people. I, I was being neighborly. Rachel is so funny. Can a bitch just cry in peace? Oh, uh, she's funnier than me. Jesus, Kara's funnier than I am. I can't. She said something so fucked up. I can't even tell you what it is today. It's just too personal. But it was like, just this. Like she just one up to me, filthily today. Yeah. She ever poke you in your butthole while you're changing? No, no. I mean that. That's a. T I, I I left myself uh, exposed. That's my fault. You know. First, I'm sure that's in uh, the art of war. Stuff. Right. Never had. Never. Uh, never show your moon when the sun's shining or something like that. But I that's, was. That sounds like Sun Tzu. Sure. Yeah, something like that. You know, I was trying. I was. I. I think I had a few drinks and I was trying to get my pants off in a creative fashion. But man, left a. Uh, Left the soft star exposed, and she just fucking oh. sharpshootered. Just sharpshooter like real quick, and now that's that's that, that feels like an electric shock. It it's, really does. It, may, it, it you lose innocence, like any yeah. any little sliver that as a grown man you still held that Santa Claus is real goes away right then and there. Absolutely, yeah. Easter Bunny's come. No, he's not. Okay. As soon as someone blinds your brown eye without warning. God damn. She's amazing. Yeah, for, if, that was great. Uh the last the last episode where she just you already had a, a a big stiffy and she brought you like a giant some kind of tropical madness cocktail. The terms there. <laughs> like a cocaine zombie or some weird yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. What's in that cup? We're doing well. This is um 
tequila and uh, LaCroix and a lemon that I found. Ah, a Silver Lake special. Yeah, nice. you know. That sounds good. It's booze, but I'm hydrating at the same time. Perfect. It's about yes. balance. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't had too many creep. Well, I got, if I'm over in Beach, we can't, oh, what's, oh, look at this one. We got a question. Okay. Jake coming in with a question. Oh, wow. Okay, well, let's, let's let people vote, right? We're going to give them a little bit to vote. We'll give them 30 we, seconds. Where do we oh, get to see? Are in. Votes are in. Oh, good. Thank God That's we have someone who knows what they're doing here. Okay, we had the shit of your first car. Let's 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 uh let's figure it out. What Jake, was I want you I want you ready to look up and get pictures of these vehicles. Yeah. Take to work. Okay, all good. Okay, I had I'll start. I had a uh Nineteen ninety-eight Ford Escort was my first car. You had a car from the nineties was your first car, bro. You're forty. No, wait, wait, wait. You're forty-five, and you had a car from the nineties as your first car. You were fine. You no, were I living. Was a child. I am a hog. Yeah, no, I know you're gonna win. Anyone who put money on me is you. You were you've been driving since you were nine. What was yours? I built my first car, and it shows. And a 1988 Oldsmobile Calais. But that's cool. No, it's not. <laughs> that And I was working at a donut factory at the time. And so I stole a roll of stickers that just said cheese because we'd have to put, we'd have to label different danishes and muffins. And sure. I just it all in stickers that said cheese. I mean. Little, little ones though. So they were kind of just everywhere. Like a toddler got a hold of my car. I mean, do you remember that that Ford that I had? I remember that. I remember the blue Escort. Yeah, but that you was... never needed a car because you lived in major cities. Yeah, the whole time. you didn't need yeah. a car. I was in New York and then Chicago. I didn't need a car in either one. Yeah, you didn't get a car till you moved till we were in L.A. Yeah. Yep. I, had, so I guess I had. it depends on people's definition of shitty. Because mine was like a boring car uh mine the if you use the windshield wipers the dashboard would light on fire and i had to uh i i, I swear to god you're making up like the it, it, it just <laughs> shit you I, say sounds like a, a hilarious novel it's listen the listen. dashboard would catch on fire yes there would be there was like a short in the like, windshield wiper switch and I was driving my cousin. I was driving him him home. We're like, what? first we smelled it, and then like one part of the dashboard. This fucker. That was That's it. it. Okay. It was win. You it win. Was maroon and it didn't have uh, as cool of wheels on it. You win. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was the first whip, and uh, and uh, yeah. So that it was like glowing in the dash. So I like I had to drive home. This is before anybody even had bottled water or anything. So I had to just drive home with a big cup of water from my cousin's house and like splash some into the dashboard every time it started to get a little too uh, orange. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and that, that car, I crashed prom weekend. For some reason, your boy Kyle had everybody else's dates in the Calais. Uh, had me, me, and, me and four gals. Everybody knew. Everybody knew I had a shit. Eighty-three percent, Kyle. Good job, look, everybody. Look, look at me. You're in a decorated home, and I'm in a garage with a, a sheet. That that betting on Kyle in that one was like betting on Mayweather. I mean, it's kind of like he's gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna okay, win. Well, I don't well, care well, how many wives I have to punch to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I, I crashed that car going to Six Flags Great America. Sure you did. I was looking down, trying to change tapes, didn't realize Toll Plaza was coming, saw a bunch of taillights, put it oh, into no. the median with uh, four ladies in it. Oh. And, then everybody, and then everybody went to Great America prom weekend, so everybody from my high school drove by and saw me with a wrecked car. And Full of girls, it. though. Yeah. Full of girls. And then another car was just like, hey, do you want to just like get in here? I'm like, yeah, I don't give a shit. Tow it to wherever. It's a piece of shit. And we still went to Great America. Oh, good. Can't, we still went on roller coasters 
even though we all may have had whiplash. Sure. I feel like a roller coaster whips the whiplash away. It reversed it. It snapped it, reverses it back. It. Yeah. Whip, you whip the whiplash is what you want to do. Yes, you gotta, that's how you whip whiplash. Whip. What's it, who has longer fingernails? I think you, because I, I bite my nails. Like not, not like a gross person, but they're never that long. Is it is a vote? Are the votes in? Is it, are we asking people? We're asking ourselves. What do we got, Jake? One Those person. I bet one person voted. Ten fucker, <laughs> Jake. <laughs> I can read what he said. You can't. I can. I don't know what it means. I don't know why this drink smells bad. Um, <clears throat> who has it? I, ch I I cut mine down because I me, well tough shit uh, jerks because I uh, chopped mine down real low, like zero. Wait, I didn't see the answer. It was me, seventy percent. Okay, maybe we're about evening. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I think Kyle I wins. I think Kyle I would wins. Eat, uh, well, I I bite my fingernails real bad. Yeah, to the me too. Of, uh, which is why I would, here that goes back and it's another step I would when I was working at the donut factory sure and I had a band-aid on my finger because I would bite my nails so bad they would just bleed oh yeah away. I remember that when you told and me that then, uh, I was packaging donuts and then all of a sudden I didn't have a band-aid on my finger anymore oh god oh Jesus Christ all right let's get another uh, another question Jake and then we'll bring on our guest look at your me fucking me you oh, think yeah. So? I think so. What you got on hand, man? Want to do it right now? I got a full one. Where are we at? We... All right. Um, this is probably a real bad idea. Yeah, let's do the chug up after break because I got to finish this drink first anyway. We'll do it. So we'll do it out of cups, right? I don't know. I don't have a cup in the garage. I got a bucket. <laughs> Let me Call Rake. Text Rake. Paint out of this. Run and get one on the break. How long is the break, Jake? No way. Okay, I'll get a, I'll get a, I'll get a cup. And we're back. Kyle, you got your cup? For ready to do this incredibly terrible idea? Whoa. Whoa. Careful. Not too much head. I know. I fucked it up. <clears throat> Take your time. What, what, what do you got? What are you trying to chug? The El Sully. It's a Mexican style lager. I'll give a shout out. Hey, guys, this is not something. We do, we do anymore. So if you can donate, please donate to feed, Feeding America. Yeah, you should really give some money. Yeah. Because now we're just uh, 21st Amendment Brewery. Good stuff. It's like five. Yes. That's cool. Thanks, guys. All right. I'm ready to barf. Well, I'm still getting it. Take your time. When's the last time you chugged a beer? I think my birthday, like three years ago. Like we had, we had, remember that was buckets of fried chicken and canned beer. Oh, we yeah. Stabbing them and. Oh, I shut. Yeah, I got there. I got in there late, kind of on the late side of that party, but it looked. Yeah, in the backyard. It, it had all the remnants of people that had a good time. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, God. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> all right. Mine's a Coors Light, if anybody's wondering. Okay. Oh, that, see, that's cheating. Okay. Cheers. Thank you for, for meeting our goal, everybody. Is Appreciate Jake it. Down? All right. One, Is two. Doing You're doing it? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you Who's doing counting? It? Jake? Jake? Okay. I'm drink. Ah. 
Damn it. Oh, get a course light. Not cool. Wow. <clears throat> Very cool. Holy shit. I don't feel good. I don't feel good about it. I'll be honest. That was that, that was fun. We'll burn it again. I've made nobody proud with that. I I I admit my wrongdoing, sir. You won. You did it. Oh no, you didn't win anything. <laughs> <laughs> he should live in my body right now. He didn't win. No, I, I, told no, I, said... I, I told you what I had for dinner last night. Hot dog shavings. <laughs> I didn't win, okay? I didn't win anything. Okay. Ugh. Are we bring it? Hey, Jake, are we? Holy shit. <laughs> wow. God, you hear that? <laughs> Sound like someone kicked a rock in half in my chest. Okay, so are we bringing our guest on, Jake? Okay, let's bring him on. Cute boy, Josh Gondelman. Now that's an intro. <laughs> hey, hey, girl. girl. Hey girl. <clears throat> oh, you got a beer to chug, Josh? I don't. No. I would fail. This is a sipping face. <laughs> I, if you secretly, the sipping face. like just secretly could just house beers. <laughs> That'd be amazing. It would be pretty fun. It would be pretty fun if I I I for a while, even in college, like didn't drink at all. And I considered as a hobby, just finding one day where I would just start drinking everyone's drinks while they weren't looking and then denying it. I just thought that would be like a fun prank. And then to see how long I could get away with it. My sister did that when she was four at Christmas and then <laughs> fell down the stairs. Of course she did. Kyle's sister is a real maniac for the folks that don't know. If you think Kyle's crazy, she's, she's always been like more on top of her shit but just as nuts. You remember when she used to kick drinks out of our hands, Kyle? Yeah, my sister had a skill, like <clears throat> if somebody had like a can of beer, or like a red Solo cup, she somehow, she had the precision of just an Olympic soccer player and could just kick just the cup. Your arm would never move. It was a fantastic magic trick where you thought you had a drink and all of a sudden you didn't, but it would be returning to earth in a matter of 10 seconds. And it was, we used to, we used to see like, we had a debate, like, was it funnier to knock food out of somebody's hands faster or slower? <laughs> <laughs> like, have you ever just been somewhere like, 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 like a buffet where somebody's got a plate of food and it's funny to, first off, upward or downward? I'll ask you guys, is it okay. funnier food upward or downward? Upward. Yeah. Upward goes fast, the downward slow. But down, but down like face to face with somebody like, oh, you hungry? Pow, kind of funny yeah. too. That's but still down, funny. I think slow down, just like we uh, slow down before somebody knows. You just touch their plate. Yeah, 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 yeah. You slowly start to tilt it before they even know what's going on. Stuff's already sliding off. Yeah, ZDs one by one. Oh my gosh, my sister did that to my mom with a slice of <laughs> wedding cake at a wedding. Just that looks good. Hmm. What are you doing? Why would you do this? My mom's old. Cake on the ground. <laughs> That's like six years bad luck. <laughs> for that, There's got to be something. Five, five years of good times for us. <laughs> Josh, how are you doing, man? How are you I'm holding okay. up? I'm okay. I'm in Brooklyn. Uh, I was telling Kyle before we started, I go outside for like five minutes a day at 3 a.m. when my dog wants to go out. So I'm the weird one in my neighborhood. <laughs> That sounds like your dog's a little weird. She's a little weird. She's old, so she only gets wants to, be to go weird. out at three a.m. Hmm. Yeah, the dog only wants to go out at three a.m. She dog goes out other crazy. times too. Usually, my wife takes her during the day, but like she likes to sleep at night, which I respect. And so I'll get up <laughs> at three, and uh, she can live her life however she wants. And so I'll, <laughs> I'll take the dog out at, at three, and we walk. My dog, she's a pug. She's got legs like push pins, so she walks eighteen feet, gets winded, and goes back. <laughs> I think it would be amazing if you um, you you just did pep talks softly through people's windows, like as you're walking at 3 a.m. Just like, doing it's gonna be okay. Through like yeah. garden apartment windows in Brooklyn, that, and that's creepier than I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> I was, because we you'll hear sirens and everything. I'm like, what? Are, like, imagine whoever's getting mugged now. Mm -hmm. Like, if you got mugged, but they still have the gloves on. Like, put your wallet on the sidewalk, and then I'll come get it, and you walk mm -hmm. away from it. Spritzing it with Purell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Kyle, um, and maybe Josh. Mm -hmm. There's a dude uh, named. Um, oh God, what's his name? I'll 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 sh I'll shoot his his name. He's he's an artist, and he so does he masks with Paul Lind on them, oh. like Paul Lind going oh with like the ascot. <laughs> That's good. I oh, haven't. Fuck, seen, I gotta look them up. Jesus I've Christ. seen some <laughs> fashion masks, but I haven't seen any whimsy masks. Oh, he's making. Yeah. I, he lives in Portland. I'll look him up. So I can give him a shout out on here. I, well, Josh, did you hear we we met our goal already. That's awesome. Because of you, that. your amazing star power. Thank you. People like Josh. They don't like us, but people like Josh. No, thank people you, like Josh. you guys. Thank you for having me. This is I'm so happy to to hang out. I th that's what. Uh, well, the missus and I were joking. If you got a. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, it's it's Jeff Braun. What do you think is a W N, not like yeah. my last name. Anyway, what do you think is like if you saw it on someone's mask, you would be the weirdest out. I think it's the Joker's face. Yeah, I I got an Instagram direct ad for that for like cool. face wraps, and it was no, always you it's can't, always you can't wear the skull like unless you're robbing someone. Like stop mm. it. Like if you're gonna pull a job, great, but not it's, for. Situation. No, it's all just it's just rape accessories. Anything was like, Ugh. what if a what if it was like a skull face and like you're still worried about like it's for motorcycle riders that are still worried about pollution. Because mm -hmm. I want to take it off and cough in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, and, yeah. and it's hard. Like we we're at the post office today, and you're you be talking to someone, and everyone kind of. You know, because you have to, you have to smile with your eyes, but then that's creepy. Yeah. Ah, no, I'm happy. <laughs> Doesn't work. Doesn't I, work. I've been doing a lot of winking. Okay. <laughs> oh no, Josh, no. Oh, that's not cool. I, I think, I think it'd be great if you're walking with Maris, just holding your wife's hand, and you're, mm -hmm. you're also winking at people as you go, and everyone's like, like, are so they we, looking for a third? We can't have a threesome during quarantine. <laughs> But let's plan ahead. June fifth. Yeah. What do you think? What are you right? What are you what, doing when social distancing ends? What if Josh Gondelman with a mask just winking is the most sinister face we've ever seen in our lives? It's probably really bad. You have no do you have idea. like a piece of fabric you can put over your mouth so we can Hold see? On. I don't have much in here. Well, let me try. I've got this little blanket. Okay, perfect. It's, not it's a good still look. delightful. It's still so pleasant and nice. I do look like Wilson from Home Improvement if he lived in Tim's bedroom. <laughs> Just like, hey, bud. Oh, you look like if Wilson was two inches high, hiding behind a regularly knit sweater. What is yeah, that? Yeah, just like? like a little, a little elf man. Look, you look like, yeah, you look like, honey, I shrunk the gun. Tim, Tim Allen's amazing elf lover that just hides. <laughs> <laughs> is Jill home? <laughs> be so much, that show would be so much better if it had a secret dimension that he was like hiding his, his homosexuality and his secret lover from his wife and family. The, and, the, and he just, the show is just like a front for his hypermasculinity. More yeah. power. I can't tell anyone who I am. Uh, gay, gays, in the, gays in the suburbs just had high fences. You didn't know that? They just, they were the ones with the good fence. Oh, Wilson? He's got kind of a high fence, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about? I think we all know what I mean. <laughs> high fence? People often, when I meet them, it's happened several times in my life, they told me they expected me to be shorter, which, that's not a compliment, that's an insult. And, <laughs> wow. But I think they think I'm like four inches tall. Well, like how I, tall are you? I'm like five nine. Five nine and a half. So not tall. Good height. Not tall. But I think people expect me to be like four three and just wearing like shoes with bells on. Because <laughs> that's exactly what people tell me. People are like, ah, you're smaller than I thought. And they say that to my face. That's not nice. 
No, it's not. How about nice to meet you, Kyle? You ever, have you ever done comedy long enough to hate the people who like comedy? <laughs> <laughs> that was my first week in comedy because i was like they like comedy and they don't like me <laughs> i like 90 percent of the people that come to the shows but the 10 percent are like i'm drunk like you are like that's not no oh, that's we're not this is we're not doing the same thing i did i did this this uh this show at, in in telluride that's like this uh you know like paul Shear and manzukas and um bunch of guys put this show together just for the people that live there. And, you know, Jason uh, Manzukas, who plays Maniac. Our residents of Telluride. Always plays <laughs> Maniac. But like, no, but there's rich people that live there and there are people that are just ski bums that look like, as Chris Garcia put it, they, they're so drunk all the time, they look like uh, ice cream left too long in the fridge. They're like <laughs> lightly red and frosty. It over. They always look wind burnt, <laughs> even though they're indoors. And like, uh they kept surround they, like these kids kept surrounding kids they're in their 20s like yelling manzukas's like catchphrases from uh the league oh and yelling and to the and where he's like the guys they i don't know what his shit was i never really watched that show but something just like they just yell something like fuck off motherfucker in his face and he would be like yeah i don't like that and they're like no but i'm <laughs> he's like no but i don't like like it was like oh god you poor man <laughs> like kyle do you get people doing that from your I, comedy? Get, I don't get a lot i get some people that are like you are drunk so i'll be drunk i'm like you can do that afterwards yeah. uh matt matt knudson had a great uh told me we, he was uh he was featuring in madison when i was there one uh one week and uh we had a great time matt knudson if you don't know him he still has one of the so funny my Favorite joke of all the time. The buffet joke? No, yeah. What's that? The buffet joke? Yes, the buffet oh, joke. Absolutely. One. I do number not want to ruin. Nope. Yeah, I do not want to ruin it. He's also one of the most jealous of anyone in comedy I've been in years is Matt Knudsen was the drummer in the Tim Robinson, the Bones Are Their Money sketch from I Think You Should Leave. Oh, Knudsen really? was? Yeah. I never knew that. Oh, cool. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, fuck. He got to, that's like, I, that's like my favorite yeah. thing of all last year. And he's just sitting in the back fake playing drums. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he's such a handsome square jawed man. He's great. You know? And such a nice, like sweetheart. And so Wonderful. funny. Anyway, Kyle, go on. Yeah. He looks like a congressman, but then you, you get his, show, let him show him the picture from when he was in the Merchant Marines. And he's like this long haired. Basically, like the guy who was going to thwart Patrick Swayze in Point Break is great. <laughs> but uh, but uh, yes, I, I, I went on stage and so he had just gotten off and uh, there was like two dudes in, uh, in not matching black flag t-shirts, but uh, coordinating black, black flag t-shirts uh, who I found out were brothers and they were fighting over who owed who a beer. And then they, I think they were both getting kicked out. And as one was getting kicked out, one yelled at the stage, I'm getting kicked out, Kyle, save me. <laughs> and, then, and then in the lobby in Madison, guy was like, man, too drunk at the Canaan show? Come on. Oh. <laughs> and so, but then they come back the next year and they're like, yeah, it was me, I'm real sorry. I heard you tell that story. <laughs> so I, I like, 90% of the people that come out to see me and that number dips to like 60% in Florida. <laughs> That's still real, a pretty good Florida number. That's real a good wild, thing. real wild country down in Florida. Yeah. God bless. God bless you for coming to the shows. Please just. Well, I mean, Florida knows there are wild kingdom, the wild kingdom of America. Florida. You know, like, Okay, I'll ask you guys as comics. Do you have anybody like when somebody tells you something before a show and like, I don't want to encourage people's crazy behavior to make it into the act. And so then everybody's going to come find you be like, I did this today, or I did that oh, today. Yeah. Like, I want you to just live your life. Please don't feel that you're going to impress me with some lunacy. But Florida is just like, oh, that was going to happen to you whether I was playing tonight or not. Like yeah. a, I was getting a drink before I went on and a woman's like, She's like, hey, how's it going? Glad I made it to the show. And she was all fucked up in the face. 
And I was like, oh, thanks. She's like, yeah, a parrot, like a parrot fucked up my face. Not her parrot, a parrot fucked up her face. She's like, I really need to go to the emergency room, but I wasn't going to miss your show. So I'm going to go afterwards. I'm like, you should go now. You should go now. That's so yeah. sweet and misguided. It's uh, that's it's sweet. A, I don't know. That's a real fan. Yeah. And that, yes, that. And then I said that on stage. And still somebody else interrupted the show more than the woman who needed to get stitches afterwards. Because it was a parrot that was like, I fucked yeah. up this woman. I can't believe she showed up. Yeah, this, this, par this parrot's going to spill the beans in a, in a court of law. He's in the back. You ever it's have a, a parrot for a witness? You can fill him with anything. It's Probably want to finish the a, job. Parrot in, a loose, in a loose leather jacket that's like, hey, she didn't pay the vig. She's fucking here? Are you kidding me? I got to do this again? <laughs> How is this parrot on coke? <laughs> yeah, and that was like the best loan shark parrot out of, out of Florida. But that's a very a loan shark. That parrot works at the bank in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, my, my, my Florida dates got rescheduled. I'll see you in the fall. <laughs> I'll be back down there soon. Josh, I imagine you get uh, the nicest people of all time. Coming hey, the sweetest, you. but to the extent that anyone comes out to see me, I every time I go to a place, I'm always like, oh, I didn't know so many librarians lived in this town. It's so sweet. <laughs> people are so lovely. Um, yeah, I'm like, I am, I'm very fortunate uh, because I don't, have many fans but the ones that i've drawn to me are like the gentlest people that would go up like they're people that are like am i allowed at comedy <laughs> oh that's amazing it's very sweet do you ever have like for like for some reason the the rare wild exception of the rule like a full just leather clad dominatrix or anybody like any just sleeveless bros like fucking full gondol heads like a, a neck or face tattoo i would uh, welcome it i'm not trying to leave those people out with my comedy you, you, you never met anybody like that's like a rabid intensity some like i mean there's like some some people that are against type but it's never been somebody that i'm like mm, i'm terrified that you like me i would rather you avoid where i am <laughs> <laughs> Just like a guy where one of his fingers, just one is a knife. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I'm you a make Delta one of Force, the Delta knife. Force calls when they need a Delta Force. <laughs> or like if if there was like a, a Bond villain that needed a henchman. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> they're playing Josh's album in like the the troop transport with the punisher logos that are painted on the outside like, <laughs> oh my Look, god hoorah, let's go <laughs> that's a that, pump for action that's what they do I've there, heard there's it. a topic i remember i flipped out when um uh the agent orange guys told me they played my album on their bus i know kyle you have a ton of those <laughs> oh that's awesome like <laughs> yeah oh i was like oh my god that was like my first old, old Old punks are just looking to kick. The vandals came to my show in Huntington Beach. Wow. When, and they were just like well dressed, like well groomed. Like when you realize these old punk dudes didn't just like, oh no, I, all my veins are collapsed and I can only shoot heroin straight into my retina. Some of them are just well to do and like yep. put on a nice shirt and comb their hair and like yes for years i toured and it was fun and i made a living but i have a nice family and it was mm -hmm. always like nice middle-aged guys of the show like i i was making a joke about seeing the misfits like ah, it's, it was funny about the misfits we're in a band i'm like what band I'm like yeah hey, we're in a band we're called the the vandals i'm like i know the vandals yeah <laughs> like, a vandal. you look like you are ready to arrest vandals <laughs> 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 you look like you should be That's called like the sandals. Under, upper Baywatch cops. <laughs> I do like I love the guys from Red Fang, you know, Portland band, metal band. Yeah. The drummer, like when I met him, he was at my show and he gave me a his business card that just says drinking buddy. <laughs> That's, <all it> <laughs> That's fun. Hey, he's a fun Dude. guy. But he doesn't, he's not a mess. You know, he's got like a lady and you know, just like not at a hand. If you're gonna have a business card in this era, it should be a fun business card. Yeah. Good reason to hang on to it. Yeah. Yeah. 
I can well, all those, you think about all these bands that like if you're playing a show every night you can't party at, afterwards think about going on the road now for just a week straight and making stories every night you'll die no way yeah you can't that's a and, young man and thank god more musicians aren't getting into comedy because they're all funnier than we are they yeah had, they've had they more exciting been, stories oh they got way better stories thank yeah. god we very we got to make sure people think musicians are serious mm -hmm. and boring yeah and just like they're quiet with huge dicks please take that take music it. take it oh yes. i bet yo i bet yo yo ma has so many fucking good stories oh yeah probably he plays classical cello and he'll be like hey do you want to know the time i like smuggled the guy into the country through the mexican border in my cello and it's like Fuck, in the ma, cello. come on in the cello they, they got just flexible like, yep Net up play one for us oh geez it's the guy inside making the sounds <laughs> hope you know this one buddy <laughs> gosh do you get do you get a lot of uh like pushback because you you stereotypically sound and look like the head writer of daisis and marrow i i do people would be i think like, it's fair you right. Yep, they call me the Bronxiest writer in New York comedy. The blackest Bronxiest. Blackest and Bronxiest. People say That's that. That's what it says on my business card. Josh, people people try to cut me with it. It's, it's That's um, testament to how funny you are, dude. Well, thank you. People have been very kind to me about it. I occasionally people on the internet will uh will be like, oh, this guy, this is who works on the show. And it's like, yeah, I know what my face is. But uh, they're, I mean, Jesus and Mara are the fucking funniest and best and coolest. And like, they've ne never made it seem like, hey man, just, you know, keep your head down about this. So like, yeah. I, just, I don't try to like, I'm not like, yeah, I'm doing it, what, what of? You know, so yeah. it's, I feel very like secure and stable and my bosses are great. It's, they're very funny. They, we did um, the Life is Beautiful. We were both like, they were on the Life is Beautiful festival doing a big show and I was doing a couple of the, smaller shows and one that they were hosting and they came into the green room it was like me shane torres naomi Kerrigan, uh, molly austin and maybe chris red i think was there and they came up behind me and just like kissed me on the top of my head and we're like thank you <laughs> said to all the other comics like thank you for taking care of our sweet josh <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing so like we all know what i'm like <laughs> you're, uh, no, you're i think it's, it's a great and weird combination i love it it's so funny they're so funny and you're so they're funny so funny it's like crazy there's there was jokes that they'll come up with. I mean, there was on last night's episode, they did like, just like came up with the idea to sing a uh, Christian rock version of Maps by the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs. <laughs> and I was like watching the feed because we're doing it all remotely. And I'm watching yeah. the feed and they're like, oh yeah, it's like a Christian rock cover of the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs. And they're just riffing on, for the taping. And I'm like, oh God, please, one of you sing it. And then Jesus just sings a perfect like, Jesus loves you like I love you. <laughs> and I was just like at oh. home watching the taping, like, well, this is great television. And I just had to like take my hands off the wheel. <laughs> no, that I mean, I think it's like you're not heavy handed. You're kind of steering them, you know, just yeah, that's I, it. Our team, I mean, like they, they are, they're really great to collaborate with, but because they're so improvisational, it's like, I'm not trying to like wordsmith them or be like, no, you have to put the inflection here. And I just like, are, I'm giving them what they want. And the whole writing staff is like pitching them great stuff, writing great stuff. But like, it's a really good lesson in like not being super precious about stuff. Uh, someone on the chat said, hey, Josh, do you rock Tim's as well? Which I don't, but I do have a lot of sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I asked the chat. Oh, what's up? It's my wife. Hey, honey. What's happening? Hi, Kara. Hi. She, what's terrible? Show. My show is terrible. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, that hurts. Right, we're okay. still going. Okay, sorry. Can you give me a beer? Yeah, hold on. Thanks, honey. Give, yeah, give me a beer too. Um, and get yeah, Kyle. Um, so hey, speaking of chat, we got uh Sally from Seattle. Uh, oh, wonderful. Can we call her? That sounds fake. Let's put her. <laughs> is the alliteration? Well, I'm just gonna Bullshit. pull my balls out. Meet her. Hey guys, it's Sally. Sally? Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, where are you? Okay, okay. I'll bring it in. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Hi, Sally. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Sally. Hello. Hello. I'm not taking this seriously. Sally, are you also in? Are you in Josh and Matt's room? <laughs> have three colored walls and we're, we're against three different walls. Yeah, I missed that whole thing. We like a pure beige aesthetic with maybe some tasteful art. I think is the vibe. We um, someone didn't want to mess with the security deposit. I see how it is. The like wall no shit, I'm, Josh. Is this uh, your sister? I'm sorry to. <laughs> wow! 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 Just step all over me, please. No, that's a compliment. Wow. You have your that's life together. You're intelligent. Sally, it hurts um, me. I live in a studio. I don't know if you can tell. Um, so I don't have it like all the way, all the way together, but I've got a little bit. Everything on your walls is framed. That's a good start. It's yeah. very good. Not just oh, like loose we, paper. Guys, we were being very uh, impolite. We have to say it. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girls. First chance to say hey girl, and it's a, a girl. <laughs> girl. It's a real one. How are you? Are you holding up? Uh, <laughs> um, doing okay, all things considered, I guess. Like, as good as can be expected, considering that we're in a global pandemic, but like, I'm fed, I am housed, I have a job, I've got a real good dog. Life is pretty good. You got, you got a dog in there? I sure do. Yeah, can I show us that dog. You show us that dog. Yeah, show us that. This is Frank. Oh, oh. look at that dog! Yes. Wow. Frank. Um, Look at Frank's meme. Mom. That's a lovely yeah. meme. Thank you. Um, I'm not responsible for it, but I will take credit. <laughs> he's great. Thing, so he's pretty mad. Um, so that's fine. That dog that's great. Man. What kind of um, what kind of work are you doing from home in Seattle, or do you have to go out into the world? No, luckily I get to stay put. I am an executive assistant. Very nice. Very fancy. Yeah, it's a. It has its highs and lows. If you've got a good executive, it's a great job. And luckily, I've got a really good executive. So it's nice. Good. Sally, what's the, what's the weirdest thing you've eaten in quarantine so far? Mm -hmm. uh, nothing beyond. too weird. <laughs> I just baked a cake today. So I'm what kind of cake pretty are you excited talking? to be eating just that uh, until it runs out. You can do that. Yeah. You can do that. Who's gonna know except uh, me and now <laughs> everyone watching this? <laughs> you could have well, you could have baked one of those dogs that dog's leg. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, I would never, <laughs> but I could. Kyle, Kyle can say that he's a vegetarian. Yeah, I can, yeah. I'm not. Gonna. This is meat that bad. Yeah, thank you, Josh. You're right. So what kind of cake was it? Ramen noodles in the garage. It's a it's a double chocolate cake, choco choco. Oh, that's not messing around. Classic, that's great. I mean, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go the full distance of baking a cake, I gotta really mean it. So absolutely. Well, why would you bake a shitty cake at this point in history? <laughs> I I baked a shitty cake. Did you? Oh, not on it's purpose. Hard. Oh, you want to know crime? I made bad sweet rolls today. No, bad. I know, I know. I I got a recipe. It's like slightly healthier. Fuck off. Terrible mistake. Yeah. Terrible. This quarantine. We're eating double fat sweet a hot dog onto a grilled cheese last night. Thank you. At least that's still unhealthy. Like, why isn't anybody else trying to die with me? <laughs> <laughs> Sally, show us your Sally. Would you like us to roast your place or toast your place? <laughs> I think um, that's up to you guys. Okay. <laughs> I want to know. I think let your responses and your feelings guide you with integrity and honesty because okay. <laughs> you know I don't want toasting that's not genuine. Well, I want um, to know what, I want to know what that record is over your left shoulder. Oh, is that record right there? I'm pointing at I my own screen. It? Nobody can see that. <laughs> do I pick up the laptop and bring it with me, or do I bring the record? Do you know to the what laptop? it is off the top. Do you know what it is off the top of your head? I sure that's do. Off the top of your head. Great. Close enough. <laughs> what is it? The Beatles? Seals and Croft. Ooh. Checks out. What, Definitely what checks are, out. Okay. What do yes. they sing, or are they a shipping company? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, Kyle? You yes, look no, like they you're are... for Seals and Crofts. You don't know Seals and Crofts? Seals and Crofts. Um, yeah, they, Croft they sounds make... like it's summer it breeze. Like, 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 <laughs> like breakfast furniture I can't afford. 
Or like, so, oh, oh. Seals and Croft, that's the company that makes head and shoulders, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but for animals. Um, I would say Seals and Croft, uh, shipping is actually close to the mark because they are very yacht rock okay. defining. Yeah. So there is, you should be getting a boat vibe from, from Seals and Croft. Well, Sally, I'll be, I do know Seals and Croft are a band for the life of me. Can't, I, I'll know the song when you tell me, but it's one of those like, this is a band and this is a song and they've only existed in a car ride with my parents. Yes, Kyle, did you guys hear <laughs> me say Summer Breeze like three fucking times? Kyle, I said Summer Breeze, that's their hit. Okay, but I, Summer Breeze, I know as- when Summer been, Breeze? Makes me feel fine. I know oh, the song, dude, but I knew it when it was laid down by the Isley Brothers. Can I tell, see, okay, can I tell a story about Los Angeles? Yes. Sure. When Does it involve Ritalin and the Isley Brothers cover of that when we lived together? Yes, we would get real fucked up and take some pills. And yep. we sat at the shortstop before anybody knew that was a place to go. Yep. And that the I knew the Isley Brothers version of that song. Yep. Sally, I'm sorry we had to chug a beer earlier in this thing. That's true. I saw it. Uh, you're braver men than I, uh, Gunga did. No it's thanks. It's not bravery. It's been a while. It's not Horrifying. bravery. Do not confuse stupidity for bravery, Sally. How's your imbibery then? <laughs> By the way, Sally, have you have you been? I, I I like typically am not like a weekday drinker, but I'll have like one or two now because of this. That's where I've one, been at. One or two no. because of this. Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> Kyle. I, everyone heard that response coming and saw it coming like a train on the track. Like, come on. <laughs> Kyle's been drinking like someone that ruins one of Kyle's shows. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, honestly, moderation is really. Oh. Gosh. That's yeah, that's the key. Here's the thing my wife brought. She's a good lady. She is a good yeah. lady. Under promise and over deliver. Are you getting along with your neighbors, Sally? Um, I don't know my neighbors too well. They're very, very quiet. Um, so yes, I, I live in Seattle, which is notorious for the Seattle freeze. Mm -hmm. Everybody like really keeps to themselves. We're kind of a city that's been socially distancing for decades inadvertently just yeah. like <laughs> by nature of the city itself are you so, from seattle or did you move there after uh i'm from seattle i grew cool. up here so yeah yeah i grew I up in portland heard. oregon and when i was a kid like seattle was always like oh that's the cool town that's the cool one because like yeah i mean portland didn't get to it's like modern cool status until I was like long gone. I was in college in New York and everyone was like, oh, you know Bronger, he's from Seattle. And I'm like, I'm not. Like they just, <laughs> it was it was that unknown. It was like, that's, that's like, what's the city over there? Seattle. That's so far, that's like being from New York and someone being like, oh, he's from Providence. <laughs> yes, exactly. What a still. Was yeah, still. Seattle, I think used to be cool, but now we're like the, we're like the guy that grew up and got a real job. Uh, and Portland, got to <laughs> um, we've turned pretty corporate. So, you know, it's... I was gonna the the movie singles came out, yeah. And I think what was uh, like at the height of when that was the all of it. I don't know if I was, was like, like eighth grade or freshman year, and um, I convinced all my friends to go see Captain Ron <laughs> instead of singles, and then we're all. At the, <laughs> That's, we're all that's, in a place. That is, that like, is the moment where Calvin was like born, where you, where you chose comedy <laughs> over being a musician. Like, you could have gone either way. Either way. Listen, what can I ask everybody in this room right now? Hey, here's a survey. Jake, put it on the board. I know you can't, but it's my own question. Would you rather watch Captain Ron or Singles tonight? Go to the chats. Uh, it's probably pretty clear. Probably guess where Captain Ron lives out here somewhere. Yep. <laughs> guess where singles live by Sally, where they're sad. Oh, come <laughs> jumping on Sally. No, um, we, have, of Sally. we also have rain. Thank you. So you know, we've got we've got more than one thing going for us. More sad <laughs> things. 
Yeah. I would love it. I, I kind of expected Josh Gondelman to be like, you know where single lives? Right here. That's where singles live. <laughs> That's such a funny thing. Singles, they're in my heart. All of them. Right there. And then the rest of the time, yeah, Josh. A, is doing this. Sally, are you in a studio apartment? Is that a bed behind you? It is. Yeah, it's just one space. Um, a one here, square. Oh, you've only got four okay. walls to choose from. Rotation. We've got a balcony. What's that? What is that prison? What is that prison you just showed? Us? <laughs> That's my <laughs> glimpse of the That's outdoors. <laughs> Uh, oh, look at that. Okay. Kyle, Kyle just took a Rorschach test looking at your apartment. Yeah, that <laughs> was really prison. telling. I don't consider this place a prison, but I guess he does. That's a oh, nice, that's nice apartment. Yeah, I like nice that size for a studio. For, for $4,700 yeah. a month, you're actually getting quite a deal. <laughs> um, a steal, but on whose part? Ooh, hey, yeah. Did you, did you pay rent on the first or were you like, fuck it? Nope, not getting my rent. I did. I did. I, uh, I don't know. I, I don't have the energy right now to in, engage in like a big fight with a corporate landlord. And if sure. my paying rent lets them be more flexible with other people who are less able to be paying rent, then that's, that's fine. reasonable. I feel similar, but my landlord is just like a guy. I don't even know if he owns other places. So like, that's almost worse than a corporation. Cause I'll be like, Hey, we're not paying rent this month. And he'll just be like, come on, dude. <laughs> Yeah, we're friends, man. You see me every month. Yeah, yeah. that make it harder, I think. Come on, dog. You, you can't. <laughs> Why is that in an email? Why'd you write that in an email? I so wish, Josh, I so wish you had like the landlord from Big Lebowski that just, just like. <laughs> yeah, you want to come see my interpretive dance performance? Please. Oh, <laughs> that is, yeah, that's we have guy. the results. Captain Ron wins nine to four, 69% of the vote. So. Uh -huh. Oh, I mean, pretty expected. Oh, you know, oh, you want to see long-haired Matt Dillon not find love? That's believable. I like looking at him. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he doesn't win at the end. Like, like non-socially aware he, Eddie Vedder, he, which is what he was playing, is kind of attractive. It's kind yeah. of attractive. He's there Ooh, for a reason, and that's to just fool around with and forget, and that's fine. You know, I think women need that, just like men have that. You know, like that's great. Yeah, this is a, 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 a beautiful, yeah, a beautiful dumb guy to fuck, and then be like, well, that was part of my. That was a nice weekend. Thank you. Yes, we deserve himbos uh, in the same yeah. way. This is this is what equality looks like. like it's so okay. Beautiful. Not assuming anything about your life, but is that is there still a musician element to Seattle? A still a uh, still a fucking. Uh, just some, just some idiot bass playing beefcake to just have have your way with and get get take a hike, buddy. Well, in this time uh, of social distancing, I could not say, but I think yeah, I think if you know the right place to look, there's a uh, there's some hunky dead end musicians lurking around this city. I feel like those that's still alive, and those guys will come to your house even under quarantine. They don't give a shit. Yeah. Oh. They're living in their car, like in a car more. right there. <laughs> They'll it's move in with you. It's kind of sweet because they <laughs> they have no agenda. You know what I mean? They're not like they're 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 not trying to be alpha. They're just like, but I thought we maybe fuck on the veranda or something. I can't sleep you know, underneath. You want somebody to shave a hot dog you on your grill? Not even a metaphor. <laughs> not even a metaphor. Quite nope. literal. <laughs> yeah, Sally. I heard from Jake that maybe you were interested in a pep talk. Is that true? I would adore a pep talk. Of course. Is there anything specific or just something general? Uh, okay. Well, speaking of relationship troubles, please. I am one of the jokes of the quarantine and that I am in the midst of a breakup right now. And so I would love a pep talk to like lift my spirits. And do you, and do you, live, you didn't, forward. do you live together in the studio? No, but uh, we used to. We used to. Okay. We used to, and not we now. do not. Two people work. lived in that place you just showed us? And Frank. Yes. <laughs> Kyle. Okay. Um, I'm still I mean, roasting. I'm still roasting. So. That's okay. It's okay. It was, um, I, when I told people we were moving into a studio, they were like, 
let me know how that works. And, yeah. and now we have the answer. You got a, it, it you got a mirror behind you. What do you want to see your reflection for? You know what situation you're in. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to let Josh do his thing here. No, Josh, everybody is welcome. This yes. isn't just me. I don't have any special. No, no, you're king of the pep talk. <laughs> This, it's, this is, hey, the show is almost over. We're going to end with your pep talk. Hey, G, so, pep talk. This is really, this is true. It's that it is so much better to have this breakup happen and to have this space to be your own than to be living in this room with resentments and your beautiful dog. Uh, and, and to have this, it's going to be really painful right now and really lonely. And this is a really bad time for it. But it's also like it, it happened because it was going to happen. And you're going to, they're, they're, it, this is this feeling isn't going to be forever and it'll be better in the future and now you have twice as much studio apartment to enjoy Get out i here. feel so filled thank you Happy yes what a pleasure Great. so nice to meet you sally thanks thank you nice so much for coming on sally and hold on yeah. one second guys uh hey josh yes can you give everyone a pep talk i think we all need one right now i think sure. the, the reason kyle and i started this show be for those of you who are just tuning in for the first time, when we haven't seen each other in a long time, we typically utter like a weary, you know, somewhat ironic because we're not girls. Hey girl, hey girl, <laughs> how you doing? I'm all right. And so it's like, this is our our way of kind of saying hey girl to everybody and also raise a little money, which we meet, we met our goal. Amazing work Thanks, everybody, guys. thanks. So everybody. Josh, if you could just give everybody a, a pep talk, Kyle, me, Sally, the whole world. Absolutely. Um, so I, I read this, this isn't like an idea that I'm generating, but like the, the distance and the loneliness right now is not like keeping everybody at arm's length for a cruel reason. It's like, we're keeping each other safe. And I think like the idea of being apart for the purpose of like everyone's common good is like very painful in the moment, but very dedicated and kind of lovely in the long term against the face of this like really difficult and pernicious disease. So like we're doing our best. This is not forever. And um, just like stay safe, everybody, and, and 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 this won't, this isn't eternal. We'll get through this. Fuck yeah, that was great. Nice words. You did it. Thank you, you so much, that. Sally. Yeah, thank you, Sally. Thanks for coming, Thanks John. For me. Sally, thank, thank you. you so much. Everyone who donated, thank you so much. Yeah, amazing. Kyle, go fuck yourself. Um, <laughs> I don't know what pernicious means. Yeah. Does everybody hear this song or is it just what I hear? I can't. My life is like. Can I, I hear, hear this song? song? I can't even tell. Oh, I hear this song.